who better to bring back again from PhoneDog.com. Please welcome Senior Editor Noah Kravitz. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, Sue. I've been dying to ask you about this uh, one that I saw a commercial for last night, the Nano Video. Yes. Come on. Let's, how does this thing work? This is pretty neat. It's, uh, it's the Apple iPod Nano. It's the new version that was just released recently. And so it's an MP3 player, and it can play videos, and you can look at your photos and all that. But what's new about it, this version, is that on the back, there's a little video camera. And so you can actually shoot video, and it's surprisingly high quality. It's not going to replace your, uh, your high-definition you know, studio camera. But you can actually shoot video. So we've got Sue on camera there <laughs> waving. I know you're not used to being on camera. Uh, pretty neat. There are two versions just with different amounts of memory. So, you know, it's the kind of thing that more and more, you know, people want to have everything all in one gadget. Yeah. And so this is pretty cool because in addition to everything else, you can shoot videos on the go. I've been putting my uh, Mad Men uh, series on my iPod Touch. Sure. And that's small enough. Can you, get, can you imagine? Let's all gather around the Nano. Now, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. But I see people on BART you know, yeah. uh, in coffee shops, what have you, watching, you know, personal video like that. Okay, so, yeah. so what else do you, now, speaking of the Nano, what do, we, what do you have with iTunes? Because uh, that's what I use. Too. Right, so the other thing that Apple did was they updated their iTunes software, which is what you use to manage uh, music and videos and content on your computer, Mac or PC, and then also to sync with the whole iPod line and the, uh, the iPhones as well to manage, you know, to move your videos and your photos and all of that back and forth. And then you can also use that to access the App Store if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch mm -hmm. to download all the apps that you see, you know, the ads for on TV. For Anything really compelling to you in terms of what makes this better because I'm pretty happy with the way iTunes works right now in terms of music and video. Yeah, they're, they're always, um, you know, they're always tweaking, tweaking the mm -hmm. system, make it a little more efficient. You know, uh, open up some new features. They have these things called Genius Playlists that kind of, hmm. you know, select music for you based on what you already listened to and that sort of thing. Oh, great! No so, selection <laughs> for you. They'll get all of your Europe songs. Right and on there. Uh, my producer was interested in knowing more about the home sharing. What's that? Yeah, they've got this cool new feature called home sharing, which basically, if you have multiple computers in your house that are running iTunes, uh, it makes it very easy now to grab, let's say. You have the final countdown on, uh, I don't mean to harp, but I know you like that song, on your computer, and I don't. You can actually drag it from your computer via iTunes and send oh. it over to my computer in another part of the network in the house or in the office. Or as long as it's in the house, because there's so. still the same limits for who, who can use it. Right, this. exactly. Okay. It's limited to a certain number of computers that are authorized and that sort of thing. Okay. But it makes it very easy to kind of move your stuff around your, your local network in your house. Interesting. Uh, yeah. that, that actually be nice and helpful. What is this? this I don't recognize this brand. MSI? Sure. MSI. This is uh, the MSI. It's one of their new X-Slim laptops. It's a Windows laptop. Uh, what's nice about this is it's super, super light. Mm -hmm. Very thin, very lightweight. It's kind of like, you know, we, we've seen these netbooks come out yeah. recently that are kind of lower cost, small, lightweight computers. And what's nice about this is it takes that netbook philosophy, but it's a little bit bigger. So you've got a full-size screen, 13-inch screen, full-size keyboard. Um, and it's still very lightweight. The price, it's kind of, depending on the model, they have a few different models, you know, with different levels of processing power. Little more than a netbook, little less than, you know, kind of a more full-fledged powerhouse okay, so laptop. so 700 to 1200. So, exactly, okay. yeah. Well, that's and, good to know for the holidays. For the holidays and for, you know, back to school time, I've had some, some people ask me, you know, my backpack's too heavy with my laptop. Should I get a netbook? This is kind of a nice compromise because it's got a bigger, you know, full-size keyboard easier to type on. Now, you are from PhoneDog.com. Yes. So let's talk about phones. I see one that looks like a keychain. Yes, this is, uh, this is the new, it's called the Nokia Twist. It's on Verizon, just came out. And this is pretty interesting because it does look like a keychain. You've got your little, you know, little uh, hole there in the middle. And it actually twists open, hence oh, the name. Very cute. And it's, it's neat because it is, it is kind of cute. It comes with two different backs. There's a purple one that I have on here, and then the back here functions as a mirror. Um, but the unique shape of it, not only is it eye-catching, but it affords a nice big space for the keyboard. So this is, you know, aimed at, we were joking about the Japanese schoolgirl market, aimed at, at tweens, and, and you can do your text messaging, you nice know, with and a nice big, big, right. nice and big, yeah. Now, you know, um, our producer, Akila, has many phones. She has the iPhone, the Blackberry. What's new in those areas? Um, so actually, what we have here is uh, um, some charging accessories ah. that let you charge your phone without actually having to plug wires into it. So this is called the Wild Charge, hmm. and... Um, 
can see it's got the charging plate here, and then we've got, uh, in a BlackBerry, we've got this little silicon case that slips on, and on the back there's a little plate. And so what you do is you plug the wild charge pad into the wall, and then when you want to charge the phone, you just drop it on there. And it charges through induction from the plate into the little case, charges your phone up. Through so the, into the battery. Into the battery of your phone, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's just like plugging your phone into the wall, but you don't have to plug anything in. So this system comes with these different cases. This is one for the iPhone, and we showed the Blackberries on here. And then also there are a number of adapters for different types of phones. This is something that Palm's been doing with their Palm Pre. You can get an adapter that, that does the wireless charging. And now the wild charger brings it to to other devices it looks as like, well. I don't know, it looks like you can cook toast on it or something. Does it generate heat? <laughs> you, you might be able to. It, it doesn't generate heat. Uh, so far, I haven't managed to burn myself on it. <laughs> I'm pretty adept at burning myself in the kitchen, so <laughs> no problems there. Uh, a couple of other neat little accessories. This one is called the Movie Wedge. Kind of a low cost, maybe a stocking stuffer. We're a couple months away from that. But, <laughs> oh, you know, it's like a bean bag. It's like a bean okay. bag for your phone or your MP3 player. I'm actually showing it here with the new Microsoft Zune HD which is kind of a, uh, an iPod competitor, but this is really cool. It's capable of HD video. Wow. So you can actually hook this up to your big screen TV set and put an HD file on there. The screen itself on here is, is gorgeous. It's a really nice new screen technology called uh, OLED, mm. but you can actually hook this up with a cable or a dock to your TV set, carry around high def video and play it on your TV, which is which is pretty remarkable. It's a new uh, chip technology that you'll see coming to cell phones in, in the near future with HD Can video on the go. Can it store a lot of that? That's a lot of data. It does. This one, uh, there are two models. This is a 16 gig. There's a 32 gig also. This okay. just came out from Microsoft. And then we've got another little case here. You know, video is kind of the theme today. Okay. Watching your movies on the go. This is called the uh, kickback case okay. from Scotia. And it's for your iPods. So you can watch videos. People are going to have to go to phonedog.com to find out more because we've Absolutely. run out of time. Too much but stuff. <laughs> <laughs> to get more information, go to cbs5.com slash Sunday and click on Phone Dog. That's it for this edition of Bay Sunday. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week.